couple hundred degree difference. Do whatever you want. You wonder why we don't like the Today we're doing the air filter testing that you asked about. What we did is we hooked up a vacuum gauge. We're gonna test the difference in vacuum and also the difference in horsepower. We're gonna compare 100% stock uh, s and versus the famous 6637 that a lot of you really like. And we're gonna see what the actual results are. So stay tuned. So we just did the S&B air filter, and one of the advantages of the S&B air filter is it does suck the air from the front grill area, but we haven't done the Zoodad mod on this truck. We're curious if that makes any difference on the dyno. It's really tough to simulate driving down the road conditions, but we got a giant fan up in front, and IET still got pretty hot. So we're gonna do the Zoodad mod, repeat the test, and see if it makes any difference. And Charlie, what is the Zoodad mod? So we're gonna get the grill off here, and there's a little plate here that kind of blocks the inlet of the air filter. When we get it open, you'll be able to see it more. But you basically take the grill off, you cut a hole in the panel so that the air flows to the air filter more easily. All right, so your air filter sucks <laughs> from directly behind this panel right here. Can it, be knocking at my door? it is able to suck through some holes over here. You know, it sucks a little bit through the bottom in here and it sucks a little bit through the top. But when you open this area up, Don't come down here no more. right there, it gets direct airflow to the air filter. Let's cut it open. <laughs> So after much debate with my mechanic, he said it might be cleaner if we just drilled a couple of holes in it to have the same effect rather than cutting the whole thing out. Maybe we'll try both, see if it makes any difference. I don't know. But we'll start with a couple of holes just to increase airflow to the air filter. Do whatever you want, sir. Well, I'm going to do whatever the master tones tells me to do. Now you can see the inlet to the air filter right there. Clean up the edges a little bit and see what it does. They say online it makes a big difference, but oftentimes it makes a difference when you're like towing heavy, driving down the road. I don't know if we'll see anything on the dyno, but we're gonna try. Tuesday, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta clean it off. Wow, baby. <laughs> Right, so we just did the Zoodad mod to see if we can see any difference on the dyno in either intake air temperature or in the horsepower. So what do you guys think? You think it's gonna make a difference? Add any power? Any difference on the IATs? Or do you think it's kind of a pointless mod to test on the dyno? Stage two S and B air filter doing the Zoodad mod test. Barely crack a hundred that time, but I feel like you need to do two dyno runs yeah. in a row because it really gets the engine hot. Yeah. It's already already dipping back down. I mean, that's pretty good. I think we were seeing like yeah. one off the look, but it's 116. Yeah. So that did make a difference. Let's see if it made any difference in the horsepower. The main thing is that it cooled IATs down, which will make a big difference when you're towing. the second you let off. Yeah, during the run it was 102 when I let off, maybe saw 104 yeah. for a second, and then it's already back down into the 90 range. Before yeah. it would just sat there at 118, just heat soaked. Yeah. So, All right. I think when towing big up a hill, I'm gonna yeah. say Zoodad mod would make a big difference. Yeah, KC Turbo's approved. At least Zoodad mod with the S and B. Yeah. Now we're gonna switch over to the 6637. Yep. It does not have the piece that goes to the front that sucks in air better. We'll see if that makes a difference. All right, let's get this out of here. Yep, that looks great. That little guy is gonna make a difference. What do you think, guys? Here's the stalker. She's low. Hold on, man. I hope I gave it to you the wrong way. You did. Hey, there's Jared from Kill Devil Diesel. Shout out to Jared and Kill Devil Diesel. All right, we got the famous 6637 air filter installed. I believe we got this one from Napa. Uh, there's a lot of different variations of it. We're not gonna test all of them. We just got the one that was local. Stock air filter hose all the way up to the... Yeah, the new sick filter, bro. The sick filter, you just put a little adapter in there, usually just a four inch piece of pipe. So yeah. it kind of gets a little bit of the uh, airflow from the Zoodad mod still, but it doesn't have an actual lid on there, so. Let's put it on there and see what it does. 
probably gonna get roasted for not having a clamp right there. Probably. Yeah, probably. The suction keeps it on there. I mean, keeps the suction, there. it was really hard to get on there too. I had to spit on it a little bit to slide it in. Yeah, yeah I'm glad I didn't Ugh. record that one. Is the vacuum gauge gonna actually show anything? What do you think? I mean, you could see a little bit of vacuum before. So yeah, I'm SMB, guessing yeah. you'll see at least that much, but I think you'll see more. And in all fairness, this is a brand new 6637 filter yeah. and that s and has been on there for a while now. Already hotter on the well, we did just start it. But yeah, they just keep climbing. It's going up though, that's terrible. Already hotter. Oh, did you turn the fan on? Yeah. Wow, uh, maybe the fan was off, nope. We are hotter now before the dyno run has started than we were at the end of the dyno run with the s and We lost 12 Ooh. horsepower. That's... Basically all across the board, we lost horsepower. Peak torque went down 38 on peak torque, 12 on peak horsepower. And that was the first run. And all fairness, it's... trucks are always cooler for the first dyno run. Yeah. We're gonna do the second dyno run and compare the second dyno run to the second dyno run of both. It's just heat 122 soaking. now. Did you, just, oh, oh okay. Come, oh. So 122 is probably 122. where it's gonna live at. With the s and sucking from the front of the truck, it barely touched 100, and as soon as we let off the dyno, I think maybe 102 on one of them, yeah. but it dipped back down below 100. Now, granted, we're not driving down the highway, but we do have a giant fan blowing on the front of the truck. Down another six horsepower. This is the s and versus the 6637, and that's a brand new yeah. 6637 versus an s and that's been on there for a couple of months now. Yeah. Ridiculous. Guys. You wonder why we don't like the 6637 filter? They don't flow as good, they suck hot air, they create more vacuum. In fact, we've seen people have EGT problems towing, sucking intake boots closed, poor turbo performance, excess smoke. Throw that 6637 filter in the garbage, put a good filter on there, and it fixes everything. There is different quality of 6637 filters. That's part of the problem, is there's so many different variations of it, not everyone gets the same one. In general, we don't like them. Go with a better style air filter, something that sucks cool air from the front of the truck. Oh gosh, 200 degree difference in EGTs. Holy That was just two dyno pulls, Charlie. Can you imagine pulling a hill for 15 minutes, like going up to Basin? Yeah. For we 45 won't... minutes, like no way. Maybe we'll do that test later when we do the towing test, but yeah. for right now, this is not a myth. This has been busted. Totally busted. The yeah. 6637 filter underperforms. I'm just gonna... If you have a stinky garbage can, here's how I like to clean that up. <laughs> We've seen it for decades. I've said it for decades. I've tested it before, but never posted online. But now you guys can see for yourself the huge difference between the 6637 filter and an old s and filter that's been on there for months. Yep. Yeah, and shout out for the Zoodad mod. That did help. It did make a big difference. It's, I think it makes even a bigger difference if you have something like the s and or the stock air filter that sucks them up front. Uh, we didn't, we can't undo the Zoodad mod for the 6637 filter, but it was on there yeah, and it didn't it, seem to help yeah. IATs. I mean, we're still yeah. still sitting at 130 degrees, just just sitting here. It's been idling for five minutes now and it has not come back down. s and was in the 90s sitting here idling, so it does make a big difference. Terrible. So we had already tested with the stock air box versus the s and earlier. It's not in there for all the IAT data and stuff, but basically if you look at the dynograph, the uh, 6637 gains nothing over the stock air box. And it was an old, dirty yeah. stock air filter. If you look at the picture when we drop it on the ground, you could see all the dirt flying out of it. I believe I can fly. So 6637 filter, it, do, it doesn't do anything. Leave your stock filter on there or upgrade it to something that actually does better. There you have it guys, the results are in. The 6637 filter underperformed in every way. Big time. Well, it drew way more vacuum, had higher IATs, higher EGTs. Lower horsepower. Lower horsepower. No, horse, basically horse stock? It was, when you when you overlaid the stock in the 6637 yeah. filter, you, you basically saw no difference. And that was with a stock, dirty, yeah. old air filter. Yeah. I know there's a lot of different variations of the 6637, yeah. uh -huh. but uh, we just did the one that a lot of people buy. They go to Napa, yeah. they get it. There's probably some that flow a little better. Yeah. I'm not going to test all of them. You could do a whole YouTube series on all the different variations mm -hmm. of the 6637. But when it comes down to it, 
No other diesel platform puts this on the trucks. You won't find them on a Cummins, you won't find them on a 6.0, you won't find them on a 6.7, a 6.4, a Duramax, you won't, and there's a reason for it. And for some reason, the 7.3 guys have like really latched onto it. Okay, so, but during the testing, you kind of seemed like you already knew what was gonna happen. I mean, how'd you know? I I was 100% confident. I, I have done these tests before. Yeah, and like the reason thought. we started doing these tests is because we track everything here at KC Turbos and we look for trends and, and, and problems. Mm -hmm. And we go through a lot of our day helping customers with yeah. smoke, EGTs, lag, low boost, et cetera. Mm -hmm. And we literally keep track of all the things can attribute to that. Mm -hmm. And it's one of our standard questions that we ask. Are you running a 6637 filter? Mm -hmm. Could you try switching it out to something else? And I can't tell you how many customers we've had where it fixed their truck. I've seen it okay. suck intake boots closed. I've seen it cause high EGTs, mm -hmm. low power, low boost. I've seen it cause all that. So it's one of our standard questions that yeah. we ask. Some flow better than others, but it's still a hot air intake. Yeah. No matter what you do, the OEM sucks from up in front. The S&B yeah. sucks them up in front. When you throw that 6637 filter and the underhood temps get to 200 degrees, you're sucking in a lot of hot air. And that's where a lot of the problems come from. That's busted. You may have seen a YouTube video. We were in a podcast where I said yeah. I didn't like it. I hate that crappy 6637 generator paper filter. Yeah, this got is why. Roasted, yeah. I, I got roasted in the comments <laughs> from people that have never tested it, never yep, anything exactly. different. But people latch on to those mods and they just never let them go for some yeah. reason. So the other thing we tested, Zudad mod. That I was actually really impressed with. That's one of those yeah. myths people talk about and we don't know whether it really did anything and Definitely did this time. Definitely did. It Huge helped difference. lower IATs tremendously, yeah. not only during the pull, but before and after the pull, you could just see the temps. They, they stayed cooler, they started cooler, and they ended cooler. Okay. So, Zudad mod, yeah. Casey Turbo's approved. Casey approved. Mm, stamp it. Yeah, Maverick, go in there and do a little. We figured out what to do with the air system, got really good test results. What's next? What are we doing? It's time to put it to the test on the street. Yeah. Zero to 60 and eighth mile times. The dyno's been coming in around 5.30 to 5.40. Yeah. Do you guys think we're gonna be able to back that up on the street with street tires? We weigh, I'm gonna guess around 7,800 pounds with yeah. me and you in there, so we'll have to see where the times come in at. Yeah. And if you watch Josh at Power Stroke Central's video, we had a little zero to 60 call out. We got 10 bucks on the line. 10 bucks! <laughs> You gotta keep that boot on there. I'm gonna see if I can send the 7.3 hard enough to beat his 650 horsepower regular cab long bed 6.0. That's kind of a hail mary, but we'll it see. It is, but we're gonna we're gonna <laughs> try. Out, yeah. So comment below. What do you guys think the zero to 60 and the eighth mile times are gonna be? And do you think there's any way we could back up that 530 horsepower on the street with street tires? So if you guys want a chance at winning this truck. Go to kcturbos.com slash legendary and figure out all the information there. Buy something off our website, enter in that discount code, and you might just win this badass 7.3. One of you guys is going to win it. So go to the website, buy some stuff, win the truck. Until next time, see ya.